morning. So today we're working on the future building pad. We uh, we've hauled a lot of gravel up here. We've hauled a lot of gravel up here, and we've packed a lot of gravel. We've went over this gravel I don't know how many times, but we figured that if we're going to build a very large, expensive shop, we might as well make sure that gravel is packed to the max. So we got this thing. Back at gravel. So this is a sheep's foot roller, I believe they call these, with a vib vibrator system on it to really pack that gravel in there. There's the there's the pad. We recently decided to lengthen this building, so now it's 100 by 135 with the 20 by 90 lean tube. Yeah, there's the concrete man himself. That looks like a lot of deer corn. So we have a drainage pipe right over here. Looks like they're shooting grade to see if we still have enough fall to hit that pipe with the drain it'll be in the building. How's it looking over there? Huh? Drainage pipe good? Like as far as getting it with the pit? Yeah, no pit. No pit? Probably not. Hmm. There's floaties in there. Like an alligator. Good scrap right there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and scrap this. 100 pounds. So we've got two holes right here. Way. Must be drained. Well, that one's deeper now, isn't it? Filled up. See, you got steps stepped down in there. It's, got, it's filled up. It sure goes that way, big one. That way. So for those of you that don't know, this used to be a Navy munitions plant in the 40s. And there's underground sewer like that all throughout here. So it works some of it doesn't. We've got some pipes running into some of them, but uh, we're hoping to run a drain over to here. But uh, we're trying to figure out, you know, what kind of grades we have and everything. So I actually found a picture of this place in 1940, like 1945, the aerial picture is. I'll overlay it right here so you guys can see it. I believe in the picture, the place we're sitting right now would be in the top left corner. What are we waiting on? How many hours on this thing? 1400? Man, by this point it's probably depreciated out or we probably buy it for about five grand. You figured out how to start this thing yet? have a traffic jam. So right now cousin Ben just played around the roller. He's seen it sitting here once to come check it out. Dad is going to doze off some of this gravel. We hauled all of that like in a couple weeks. Never packed it so it's kind of thick and fluffy. We're gonna doze off a little bit and pack it and then put that gravel back on there. Should have done that to begin with but we better fix it now because once this concrete goes on here it is what it is you only get one chance to make your concrete right and it starts with the base so this is a bank run gravel we are lucky enough that we have plenty of that right here close there's probably 200 and some loads of gravel here I'd guess every bit of 150 but luckily for us we have our own gravel pit about a mile down the road otherwise this would have taken forever now this sheep's foot roller we're gonna run over this a lot of times, but right here, very firm. Here, not so much yet. But that thing also has a big vibrator on it. So if you notice, whenever I zoom in on it or get close to it, it is shaking the ground like this, and that is really helping that ground settle. So we run this thing over here for a few hours, or a couple days. We got it rented for a week from Columbus Equipment. We run this thing for a week. This, this base will be very, very hard and ready for concrete. I think. We've had a lot of rain. You see it shaking. We've had a lot of rain lately. And that should really help this ground settle. 
which is what we need. Originally the plan was to try to pour this concrete last fall, but with harvest going on and the dry weather, it just didn't work out. But uh, I, think, I think we're better off waiting. I'd love to have the building further along, uh, but he like said I don't want a screwed up floor from the get go. I'm gonna steal Ben's Jeep and go for a joyride. He stole the roller. I'm stealing his Jeep. Well, it looks like looks like we got us a working man today. Hey mama. Hi, Ben's helping. Yeah, for now. I see you uh brought me my working man. So last time you cut your hair, someone said that was a midlife crisis. You wanna tell them why you really cut your hair? But, but you donate it to what is it locks of love or something like that not locks of love honestly i haven't mailed it yet uh children with hair loss or it could be available at farmfocus.com for a thousand dollars let's go bub huh? there's machetes in the back oh boy he brought his knife i'm gonna haul a little bit more gravel while we got that sheep's foot here Dad's getting ready to take this thing down to the pit. Our Daewoo loader, loader, our old pay loader, got a busted radiator at the moment, so the JCB's kind of doing that job. I'm wondering it does really well. The uh, Daewoo's an actual pay loader, a little bit bigger than this, but Dad said this thing handled the gravel really well and uh, very pleased with it. All in all, we really like this, uh, was it a TM420 JCB? If our pay loader wasn't so old and it's really not worth much we'd probably just get rid of it but it is kind of handy having two big loaders so we'll probably just keep it but that machine can pretty much do everything that that daewoo does me and dax man we're going to start hauling some gravel now dad's still up there pushing gravel and anyway, i think bj's going to run that compactor ben was just stopping by for a little bit he's not you know working all day or anything so i think bj's going to run that packer see what we can get accomplished Dax just asked why that was there. <laughs> so a lot of the topsoil has washed down in the rains. So we got some dirty gravel here. We're gonna clean that up a little bit. Just gonna haul this ground or this this stuff that's got rock and dirt in it. We're just gonna haul it over to the side so we can get to the good gravel. Alright, Dax just went home with his mother, so I'm gonna hop in this thing. My turn to run the new toy now. Now, like I said, this is a rental. We're not keeping this thing. It'd be great when we needed it, but we do not need one of these enough to justify anything more than a rental. Definitely not one this new. It's not a Try old and kind of running by the watch, too. It gets thin. Tailgating out that gravel there just to uh, fill in a couple low spots. And he's going to go after another load. He dozed this layer up over here. I'm going to pack it down while he's doing that. And then we will cover it back up and then pack that layer down. now four times so I guess dad's gonna call out good enough and cover back up and then we'll run over that layer four or five times this is really slow but not this work but like I've said before it needs to be done well we are gonna have to pick up here tomorrow because uh, my nephew BJ's oldest or middle son has a ball game tonight so we're gonna go right across the road and watch his ball game and uh, that'll probably be it for tonight but we have more packing to do this weekend doing a good job really firming it up just lots more trips, a lot more trips. So when we do pour this pad, there will be a layer of blue rock down, be like six inches of blue rock. So 
of insulation and the six inches of concrete. Should be several more. Gonna be more steps to this pad, but um, this is a good step. Getting her nice and firm. Morning. So this is day after we packed all that gravel. We've got more gravel hauled up here. We've got more leveling out to do. We're gonna take a couple measurements with the transit and double check a few things, but we're going to level off some ground, pack some more ground. Fun, fun, fun. After hitting this with a transit, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we have enough gravel for the building pad. Now we don't have enough to slope everything just yet, but right now we're just gonna focus on getting this pad packed in here. Dad's moving some dirt. We're actually a little bit high in some places we found out, so he's kind of leveling that up. And we're just gonna keep running over this back and forth. So came down here with dad to the gravel pit. This is going to be the last load of gravel and we're going to take the loader and the dump truck home. So needed two people down here. Starting to sprinkle is perfect time for pack gravel packing. That flag right there, that is the end of the building. This, uh, the building goes out this way and we have that much space out front to hit this 50 foot door. The building goes pretty close to that building, but not too close. So I think that should leave us plenty of space, but from here over will be a building. From here out will be the runway. Got just a little bit to fill in here, right there, and then this this thick layer we just put on today, I'm gonna to run over that quite a bit yet this evening and really pack that down in there. Now right, we're gonna go out here and get a grade check for Dad with the stick. Make sure we're fairly level. Yeah, quite a bit of dirt to level off right there. It's just, he's pretty close, but I wanna get her a little closer. So basically the trans transit over there, laser transit, that's great. This thing will tell me if we're high or low based on the beats. So right there we're just a little low. If it was straight up and down, we'd be perfect. If I was raising it, we'd be high, or uh, be low. Right now we're a little high. There we go. Need to take a little bit, a little bit more dirt off right there. If you're over here. That. Still a little high. So a lot of people have asked why we don't have the D8 out here. Well, that dozer right there is, is a pretty big dozer, really. More than adequate for this job. And it's a lot easier to finish grade with. So right here, we're just perfect, pretty much. That is good, right there. So now he'll probably use this as a visual reference for when he gets over there. We'll have to do this a couple more times. So there, he's really finishing it off. We're going to leave it a little bit high because it will compact quite a bit right here, as fluffy as this gravel. Heck yeah, that's the end of the building. And the bank got dropped till there, so we have enough gravel for now. Now we're going to have to haul a lot more. There's like a four foot drop right there. It's sloped a little bit, but not near enough for a semi yet. Because there'll be a drive fit through door right there where we'll be pulling semis in and out. But for construction purposes, we have enough gravel for now. Yeah, I think that will do it for now. Morning. Doing some uh, elevation checks on this building pad for the 47th time this week. Perfect. Good job, BJ. Yeah. Brad, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Why don't you mark out the doors? That way we can see this. Oh, shoot. Was your face pressed up against yeah, that mortar right there? Some gray paint. Well, you're probably off. No, it's pressed up against here. Oh. Uh, see? Yeah, okay. What's going to happen? Yeah, this is how we're going to square the building, right? Like when we build it? Well, if BJ's squaring abilities are worth a dang. There's the corner of the building. Looks like we got plenty of gravel out before we fall off the cliff. No.
You want me to drive my truck through here? Don't need. Put the flags roughly where they are and I'll drive my truck down here. So Dad requested we get the JCB and back drag in between the flags so that we can smooth it out a little bit. So that's what we're going to do real fast. That sheep's foot roller, it packs the ground real good, but it does make it pretty rough. I'm going to go down and back drag that. And then before we take that roller back, we'll probably pack the path that I'm about to make. That'll be where the footer is for the building. I'd like to get that really packed in there uh, as hard as we can. Thanks for watching that video. A couple things I did want to point out. The building probably isn't going to start till March. That's when the main part of the building is scheduled to be delivered. Hopefully we'll be pouring concrete before then, but I, I don't know what the building, the builder's timetable is at the moment, but the building's not going to be delivered till March. So we still have a ways before that happens. We're supposed to get a shipment of some of the materials in the next coming weeks, but it's going to be a while before this, actually, this building actually gets started. A couple other things I wanted to point out. The D8 saga concludes in the next video, so be on the lookout for that. Also, Dad, BJ, and myself will all be at Louisville this year doing a meet and greet at the Underforth booth Wednesday and Thursday. I believe the Wednesday meet and greet is 10 to noon, and then the Thursday is noon to 4, I think. So if you're going to be in Louisville, stop in, say hi, come see us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you then.